How does buying a home in San Diego affect your income taxes? Hey, I'm Kyle Whistle with Whistle Realty Group. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you a little bit more about how buying a home can help or hurt you when it comes to your income taxes. And now there's really three primary things that I wanna focus on in this video. Um, now I wanna help, you know, kind of clear up some of the myths, the myths too. Um, one of the myths is that you get to write off your entire mortgage payment, um, which is not true. Uh, you do get to write off your mortgage interest, but you do not get to write off the principal that you're paying off um, on that. So when we say principal, let's assume you owed $500,000 and you made a $3,000 payment. You probably had about 500 of that that went to principal and 2,500 went to interest. So you reduce the principal balance of the loan by $500. That is not a write-off solely, the interest is a write-off. Now think median price home in San Diego right now is about $800,000. Let's assume you put 20% uh, down on that. So you got a loan for about $640,000. Your mortgage all in on that is let's call it four grand. Well, you're talking about a write-off north of $3,000 a month that you're gonna have on that home multiply that by 12 months, you're talking that's like a $36,000 um, deduction when you go to file your income taxes. So that, let's assume you made, you know, $200,000, $36,000 write-off, now you made $164,000. So that could have a big impact on things. The next thing is property taxes. You can deduct your property taxes up to a certain amount. Um, as we probably have all heard about SALT, the state and local tax, there's a limitation on how much you can write off when it comes to your property taxes, a limit of 10,000. So um, you are gonna be able to write that off up to a certain number. So, and when I say all this stuff, make sure, talk to a CPA, right? I'm not a CPA, I'm just a real estate guy. We just sell houses, done it for 20 years. So just sharing my experience with you. Now there's a few miscellaneous things that'll come into play that aren't gonna be common for everybody, but are gonna be common for some people. So if you have any medically necessary improvements, those can be written off. General home improvements cannot be written off. So home improvements can only be written off if they were medically necessary. Um, one improvement that can be written off that might not be medically necessary is gonna be things like solar, uh, electric, solar water heating, things like that. There are some energy efficiency tax write-offs. Um, so there's some that are specific here to California. If you're watching this here in another state, you'd obviously have to check with your state and see what they have um, that's allowable where you're at. Um, but there's always gonna be something for federal, something um, for state. So check that um, for wherever it is that you live. Now let's get into the really big one. Like this is the most important part of this whole thing is the exemption that you get when you sell this home that you purchase. This is one of the few times in your life you get to stick it to Uncle Sam. All of our lives, Uncle Sam sticks it to us. We get to stick it back. And so here's what's great is if you purchase a home here in San Diego or anywhere in the country, when you sell that home, if you are single, you can keep up to $250,000 worth of gain tax-free pay zero dollars tax on that. And if you're married, you get to double that. You get half a million dollars tax free. So what was great, my uh, last home that I lived in, I bought the home for $800,000. I ended up putting some money into it, sold it for $1.6 million. Um, after we factored in exactly how much my true gain was, the first $500,000 of that, I paid zero dollars in taxes. Think about how massive that is. $500,000 tax free, All right? Depending on where your income bracket is, you might be 25, 35, you know, here in California, 50% uh, tax. To take down that kind of money tax free is, you know, I don't even wanna call it a once in a lifetime opportunity, but it's a very infrequently times uh, in a lifetime opportunity. So that's gonna be the biggest one when you sell a property. If you're married, it's primary residence, 250K. If, you, if you're single, 250, if you're married, 500. That's huge. That is a massive, massive number. And that's one of the best benefits of buying a home when it comes to tax purposes is you've watched all your friends and you've watched their home values go up and up and up. Well, guess what? You're probably thinking, oh yeah, when you sell, you're gonna get hit with taxes. No, nope, we're not, at least not on the first 250 or 500. So super, super cool. If you wanna learn more about these benefits and you know your particular situation, 
I've got a great CPA I can connect you with. Or if you wanna get the ball rolling and you're ready to quit paying rent, start making some equity and equity you're gonna take down tax-free at some point, give us a call, shoot us a text at the number below. That'll connect you with my team. We can learn more about you, your goals, and put a plan in place to help you accomplish them. I'm Kyle Whistle with Whistle Realty Group. Thanks for watching.